in a new collegiate record. Belongs to Parker Valby of Florida at this year's Brian Clay Invitational. Just so you know, it was not the first and probably will not be the last time Parker Valby set a new track record. And that's just for the 2024 season alone. Yes, that's right. So far in the season, the American track and field and cross-country athlete has broken and set a new handful of records. She may still be at the collegiate level, but she exhibits the qualities of a fast-rising track star. Not surprisingly, she has a long list of accolades, especially but not solely in the 5K. This is evidenced by the fact that, among other things, she was a gold medalist in the 5,000 meters at the 2023 All-SEC Outdoor First Team. She also backed up her 5,000-meter national title on the track outdoors with a statement victory over Caitlin Tui of North Carolina State. So, when Parker Valby was crowned the 2023 NCAA Division Individual National Champion in dominant fashion and led the Gators to the best finish in Florida cross-country history, it did not come as much of a surprise. Needless to say, it was a perfect season for Valby as she has placed first in all four meets she has competed in, including the Nuttycomb Wisconsin Invitational, SEC Cross Country Championships, NCAA South Regional, and now the NCAA Cross Country Championships. Obviously, she aims to do the same this season. She opened her first indoor 5,000 meter race in a remarkable fashion. Usually, season opener and new NCAA record don't go hand in hand. But this is Parker Valby we're talking about, so we should not expect anything other than greatness. On that note, she became the first woman to run a sub-15 5,000 meter during collegiate competition at the Sharon Collier Danville season opener in early December. There, she finished in 14 minutes 56.11 seconds, a performance that is 16 seconds faster than the previous indoor collegiate record of 15 minutes 12.22 seconds set by Emil Sisson of Providence College in 2015 and seven seconds faster than NC State's Caitlin Tui's outdoor record of 15 minutes 3.12 seconds set in 2023. Valby went through 1,600 meters in four minutes 48.66 seconds, then split nine minutes 38.82 seconds at 3,200 meters, followed by a 4.42 last 1,600 meters. With that, Valby is the first collegiate woman and youngest American to break 15 minutes. Before Parker came into the picture, no woman had ever run sub-15 minutes in the 5,000-meter race during collegiate competition. Let me spell it out for you. She beat both Sissons and Tuhi's marks by over 7 seconds. By March, she broke her own indoor NCAA 5,000-meter mark. That's how great of an athlete she is. At the 2024 NCAA DI Outdoor Track and Field Championships, Florida junior Parker Valby won her third 5,000-meter national title, all while breaking her own national record with a time of 14 minutes, 52.78 seconds. Valby, the junior from Florida, already a collegiate record holder, the only collegiate to ever break 15 minutes. She's going to do it again and more and she breaks her collegiate record down to 1452.78. She did that just three months after obliterating the previous collegiate record in the women's 5,000 meters. Valby, who entered the race as the heavy favorite after winning the 2023 NCAA Cross Country Championships in November, controlled the race from the beginning. With Oklahoma State's Taylor Rowe on her heels, Valby led the field through the first 1,600 meters in four minutes, 49.76 seconds. Still early in the competition, only Rowe dared to follow the quick pace established by the three-time NCAA champion. With a 50-meter lead on the rest of the field, Valby looked like she was enjoying herself and even gave a thumbs up to her Gator teammate, Claire Bryant, who was competing in the long jump on the inside of the track. I'm like a ping-pong ball. My brain is like here, there, and everywhere at the same time, Valby told reporters. I'm running the race, but I'm watching my teammates do well at the same time. After the race, Valby shared that her goal was to win, and the record was an added bonus. When asked if the record was easy, Valby said, Honestly, on a scale of 1 to 10, it was like 6 or 7. I wouldn't say it was easy, like I wasn't jogging in the park. So it goes without saying that the highlight from the NCAA Indoor Championships in Boston was Florida's Parker Valby, 
along with Northern Arizona's Nico Young as they both put on a show. In fact, they were two of the unquestioned stars of the show. Okay, and this is your first indoor national so how has this experience has been for you so far? So far so good. I love Boston. I'm two for two in Boston. <laughs> Boston five games, that is. After Boston, she went to California to what else? But to break more records. Valby, who has won four NCAA titles and already owns the collegiate 5,000-meter record, added the 10,000-meter collegiate record to her resume on April 11th, running 30 minutes 50.43 seconds at the Brian Clay Invitational in Azusa, California. Although the Florida native trailed most of the first half to Callie Thackeray, she came back strongly in the second half, especially after Thackeray went off track to clinch the title. Jenna Hutchins from BYU finished in the second position, trailing behind Valby by less than two minutes. Valby's time takes almost 28 seconds off the previous collegiate record of 31 minutes 18.07 seconds, which was set in 2010. Notably, it was Valby's debut at the distance, and her time made her the 11th fastest American in history. Three. Yep. And she moves to number 11 all time amongst American women in the 10,000 meters. An amazing run by Parker Valby from Florida. Yep, Valby is now the 11th fastest woman in U.S. history, just behind Dina Castor's 30 minutes 50.32 seconds from 2002. Her time was also good for the fifth best in the world and second best in the U.S., only behind Wayne Kaladi's 30 minutes 33.82 seconds from the 10 in March. Well, that's befitting, especially since she lowered a collegiate record by 28 seconds that had stood for 14 years. Iowa State's Lisa Uhi was the last to do it in 2010, clocking 31 minutes 18.07 seconds at the Stanford Invitational 14 years ago. Valby, the reigning NCAA Division I champ at 3,000 and 5,000 meters and in cross country, hit the automatic A U.S. Olympic trial standard too, dipping below the necessary 31 minute 30 second mark. With the Olympic trials just around the corner in Eugene, Parker Valby will present a strong case for herself in the 5,000 meter and 10,000 meter disciplines. While she couldn't touch the automatic qualification stand of 30 minutes 40 seconds, Valby will be a force to reckon with at the trials, especially with the way she started off the 2024 season. Regardless, Valby earned the Athlete of the Week award after setting a new record for the NCAA. The 21-year-old athlete has received the 2023-24 NCAA Weekly Honors Award for the 2024 season. The first time she won was during a cross-country meet. Now she stamps her name at the outdoor track and field event. Valby accomplished this via the USTF CCCA NCAA Division I as the Women's Athlete of the Week. Valby is quite the speed demon on the track and continues to pour it on for the Gators. This is the second time Valby has added Athlete of the Week to her resume. Well, after hours and hours of intense training, this kind of result is to be expected. As you would have already guessed, nothing about Valby's cross-training is easy. At a minimum, she's spending four hours and 15 minutes on the arc, the student gym, each week. At a maximum, it's more than seven hours, and she goes hard. All of these pay off as she wins race after race after race. So, what can we expect from her from here? Like, when where do you feel you stack up among Americans right now in terms of like the Olympic team? How do you feel? Uh, I haven't really thought about that. I just following what my coach says and taking life day by day. When asked about her Paris plans, Parker said, Trials this season? My goal is to be the best I can be. I mean, I'm only 21, so sky's the limit, you know? Yeah. But her goal also includes rest, that's for sure. Ooh, my well. spring break. Probably just chilling and going to the beach. You know, getting a nice tan. Nice. I think I'm losing my tan in Boston, because the UV is not getting to 10 here. <laughs> well, as she said, she's young, and she has a long road ahead of her. Other athletes can't say the same, though, so they are working very hard to carve their names in history books.